A 13 year old boy is now charged with murdering his grandfather and now it took eight months of investigating to put the boy in jail. Nine on your sides. Brianna Harper is live right now with new information that led to this arrest. Brianna, what have you learned? Well, Craig, we now know that Mount Healthy Police is working alongside the prosecutor's office and the coroner to try to piece together this entire investigation. And today, Prosecutor Joe Dieters announced that so far, all the evidence seems to point to the teenage suspect. There was some admissions that they were in some sort of physical altercation. Um, and literally, we believe the grandfather's head may have gone through a wall. Mount Healthy Police tell us a 13-year-old Alexander Agenbrod shared this home on St. Clair Avenue with his 80-year-old grandfather, Fowler Agenbrod. Nine Your Side is choosing to identify the teen based on the seriousness of the case that now involves a murder charge. It's never easy to, to deal with any homicide, and when there's a young child like this involved, it just makes it even harder for us, but we, you know, we have to stay focused and make our decisions based on facts. The facts that police have so far date back to August 2016. That's when officers first responded to the home for an emergency call. We know they found Fowler unresponsive and at the time we were only told he had quote head trauma. Alexander Agenbrod was only 12 years old at the time and he was initially charged with domestic violence. The prosecutor's office is now requesting Agenbrod receive a mental evaluation. It is important to point out Agenbrod was living with his grandfather because both his parents died of drug drug overdoses. Now, Prosecutor Dieter says it's likely this case will stay in juvenile court. So from the beginning, the juvenile has had a lawyer but has chosen not to talk to police. Reporting live from Mount Healthy, Brianna Harper, 9 on your side.